are fired is an option that I never considered. Also very funny if you watched the post credit scenes last episode. The uh, Kunudon thing, the little chestnut mascot. Principal <laughs> fired him too. He said, you are too much of a demon to represent what our school you know, is all about. Which I think is actually wrong. I think Kunudon is like the perfect embodiment of just this malice and evil that exists at this school. Principal Asano is kind of crashing out. All his students are, they basically gave up hope. His option was, now, nah, okay, I'm going to just like destroy your school now. And if not, uh, how about we do a gamble? And we're going to gamble to see like if you can answer this shit. And it's so rigged and Koro-sensei is also super tilted. Things are not looking too good for us. Let's find out what's going to happen in today's reaction. This is the most damage he's ever taken, too. Oh, wait, wait. What the hell happened there? Oh, we got lucky. Karma. Karma. Was it Karma? Who did it lent out to? It was this girl. I think it's this girl that, you know, had the bar. So, okay, okay. So... Last episode, they baited me. I thought that Koro-sensei was absolutely cooked. No, no, no. He's confident. He's got it. I'm over every book. Every book. Yeah. He underestimated Koro-sensei. Oh, Yo, we just win like this? Good luck. Nah, I think that the tides will change again. It's looking pretty good for us, but what if Principal's also, you know, got something else up his sleeve? I don't know. Let's see. Backstory! The backstory of when he taught back in this campus, which is the end class now. Wonder if the N class system always existed in this current state too. Backstory time! This is gonna be crazy! Asano principle was for the weakness. It's the same shit! The assassination classroom, obviously, it's not to the same degree, but they were trying to, like, kill him back then too. It's the same rule set. This is basically just principal with the bangs down. No, no, different style. Rather, it's it's more like his son's hairstyle right now. It started as a cram school. Yeah, why did you settle for this? Because he was passionate. True. My stock. Basically, he's just such a perfect person. He gamed the stock market and he's rich enough to, you know, compensate for the losses of this cram school. Alright. Flexing. <laughs> Bro, just got a positive cash flow too on top of, you know, being bound by stock. What an idealistic good person back then. There's different ways of being good. Okay. I'm only perfect because I have to be. He's narrating this. What could have changed him so much? That is insane. He had the campus here. It started as a cram private school. For the good of his heart. To do it for the kid. And then something crazy happens. A turning point. And obviously the main campus is also necessary. To create the system of making the in-class be like a sacrificial lamb. So that you always look at them and want to do better. What compels a man to just change like that? Maybe the kids are so bad. You know how cynical... Like the more I thought about this, the more funny it is. But back in high school... When I was like beefing with different, you know, teachers or teachers are like shitting on other kids, I never really thought that much of it. But the more I grew up, the more I realized 
the absurdity of like a 40 something year old woman or a man having beef with a 15 year old kid. That was just like bizarre. Like, damn, you really have beef with these dumbass kids, huh? They would because year after year after year, you're met with shitty kids. There's some good ones in the rough, but you're going to get so much to shitty kids and then you're going to turn twisted. Everyone starts off hopeful and idealistic in the beginning, but the more you do something and the more you see the true nature of the disgusting nature of humanity, you become more cynical, jaded. Is that kind of what happened to him? <laughs> Teacher says good boys. <laughs> Damn, dunk that shit, bro. Dunk that shit. <laughs> That's a 10 foot hoop. That's a 10 foot hoop in my fucking head cannon. Bro, what the hell? Yo, 1v1. Ball is life. Oh, <laughs> The hell? He's cultivating the weaknesses. One day, what happens? Okay. What's a gift? It's a nice symbol. Great. They got their middle schools they wanted. Everything is so happy, happy. His dreams have been realized. He's helping these kids. Now the next cohort. All right, more kids are coming in. Okay, great. Business is booming, but... Ikeda Rikuto, his kids. They graduated. Whenever you're like doing this shit, it's like the opportunity to jump. Right? But like, maybe even though he was so perfect, he still couldn't save the kids. Like maybe there was someone suicidal. Something so bad happens. A death of a child happens due to his teachings. And even though it's not directly his fault, he blames himself and drastically changes the system. That doesn't really make sense if you're talking about, you know, protecting suicidal kids, because end class, they're the most probably suicidal bunch in the beginning of the show. Alright. Bye, I'm kinda worried about that guy, but okay. I don't think this is gonna be good. <laughs> What happened? He did everything perfect. And like, there's no way you can blame him right now for this tragedy. What happened? <laughs> it's because he dunked on him. <laughs> he did the... Broke his fucking ankles. <sighs> dunked on him. And then the kid was like, I could never be like him. My basketball dreams are over. Ball is life. And no longer will I have a life. And that is why the kid offed himself. No, that's stupid. That's so stupid. What happened? Bully. Bully. Bully? Stand up for himself. So this now makes him realize that in order to save the kids, he needs to do the absolute necessary evil to make sure the kids will stand up for themselves with the end class system? To get rid of bullies no matter what? If you're a bully, you get demoted? Something like that? It's, it's kind of cooking, slowly. You did perfectly fine. It's not your fault. Strong students. This is where it all starts going wrong. Yeah, who are your ops? Oh no. What does it mean to be strong, Sensei? That's right. The time that he went to the karate dojo, right? And then he lost first. And then in three days, he beat the leader. And someone told me the guy that he gave the money to in the park, the gambling, that guy was an ex teacher? 
of this dojo. And the whole gambling aspect ties into his gamble of, I don't know, this whole you know, thing we're doing with Kuro-sensei's bet right now. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, sure. This, 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 this. this, 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 this. <laughs> three minutes, give me three minutes. Damn. Yeah, so he's trying to make the logic, but damn, this is so extreme. But if your kid that you taught like that died because you didn't make them strong, one could definitely delude themselves into doing something like this. So he too has a very tragic backstory. That's right. But here's the thing. The goal here was never about mitigating the loss of life, but rather to make these kids strong. In order to... Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of armchair psychologist right now. But I believe that this contradicts this because the way I'm coming at this is the whole like value of life. I think that if you only cared about life being saved, then you would never make the in class because those kids would get so depressed and suicidal, they probably off themselves. But it was never about that. It's the guilty feels from not being able to keep these kids strong enough to survive. So now he's deluded himself to thinking, I will make these kids strong and it's going to be survival of the fittest. And if you die, that's on you to offload the burden that was on him. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a bit cringe, but like this kind of makes sense from a perspective of like, do you think that this solution actually solves the problem of like losing life? No, it's about strengthening the kids and those that are not, you know, deemed worthy to survive. Fuck it. Then you go die. Kuro-sensei, how does Kuro-sensei come into the equation? What are you gonna do now? He still has the pin. He still has the pin. And the fact that he still has the pin that was gifted by the kids before tells me that deep inside, he's not so lost. If that was gone, then maybe I could believe it. And how crazy is it that, that we're deciding it off that single fucking pin? I think that symbolism here matters. さあ、朝の撮影を開きますか。あんたが持ち出した賭けだぜ。死にたくなきゃ遺跡よく負けを見抜いてしまえよ。それに私。<笑> We'll go to cram school there. Oh. Bald. Do you mean bold faced? How many times now have I seen such bald faced? <laughs> you mean bold faced, right? Bald. Koro sensei. True. Oh. Koro sensei will protect. Koro Sensei will probably protect him right now. Everyone else will be suffering defeat. Is this the cope in your mind? How does that make any sense? <laughs> they won't be suffering alone. Everyone else will also be suffering. So till the very end, I was right. Bro is too worried about being right. Absolute equality. Sure. Yep, there it is. Once a month. Because you know he could survive. From the beginning, Koro Sensei didn't even think he would lose. He really had me. He was sweating fucking balls out, baited. But from the beginning, he was like. I gotta save this shit for, you know, Asano principle there. Okay. They do have a lot in common. A lot of similarities. Oh? What are they doing? Basically, they're almost the same person. Mm. 
人でため込まれて理事長この言い組みをつ I'm trying to take this seriously, but his fucking head that's still recovering from the damage, bro. <laughs> like the distorted fucking head right now is just, just sticking out so much. Okay. Is this the principal's redemption correction moment? Again, it's just like the parallels of the whole teaching system here. Even like this like game of like, you know, you can hit me or something. You'll never win though. Sure, at the cost of what? Wait, 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 wait. We, we gave you, bailed you out. Basically, the acknowledgement is because of your fucked up system, the three E class kids all suffer the same shit and therefore could unite under the same goals. That's it. Like, like how, how does this sound fucking good to you? We're, we're basically trying to make the best of a worse situation. Alright. <laughs> what was the importance there of this frame? Are we looking at, you know, the knife being bent here against this clip that he's given before? Was the knife always bent before? Hold up. Was it always bent? I feel like this is intentional. Maybe I'm schizo. I feel like it was. It was... Okay. Yeah, look, 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 look. The tip of the knife... Yeah, 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 yeah. So the reason that he's bending it right now against the clip is he doesn't want to accept this shit, but he's taken the L in a gracious way. Like the amount of pressures he's putting on it shows how frustrated he is. Go ahead, bro. So are we chill with him now? Principles good? Not good, but like... Or in amicable terms. We got a working relationship. We don't have to worry about him just fucking us up out of nowhere. We're, we're good? Alright. I thought he was going to be like final boss till the end. And now father and son. He's really here to rub it in his face. Hey, let's go get some Kobe steak, bro. Take me to court on domestic violence charges if you like. I still win in court. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll buy your lawyer too. I still win in the court. Because <laughs> I'm Mr. Perfect. There he is. And as a parent. What is it? Can be captured if everyone holds him down? Huh. And I'm not sure how heavy he is either, but force is, you know, mass times acceleration. Even though an object is so light, if you have enough speed, you know, it can be very powerful in the Mach 20, obviously, but he is like a nuru nuru, you know, slime thing. So, okay, he's pretty weak if you just capture him. But that's the part. It, of course. Of course, but like we can't capture him. That's the thing. We, he's too fast. Yeah. Yep. He's fucking trolling us. Hey, at least one of them actually grabbed on here. You know, Purple Jacket here actually grabbed on. Next. Festival. Just short term memorization. Drama festival. Assemble in the gym. Budgeting. After performances, return to class. <laughs> wow. Okay. This would have been a pretty cool scene to see. I, I'm kind of sad that they cut it out. I feel like um. This could have been really cool for Isogai and, you know, some of the members of our representation for the student council to kind of go there and debate. 
Nagisa kun, Nagisa kun. Why is the elephant there? Why, 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 why is the elephant there on his hand? What are you trying to suggest right now? This girl, this, this could look just like Nagisa too with the hero style. <laughs> You know what's crazy? She showed up one episode to make some pudding then fucked off. I thought this is your season. What are you doing? I know more about Hara than you and that's saying a lot. What the fuck are you about and why is the author keeping her hidden until like the last moments of this season? Do she read some creepy ass shit? Like, this is gonna be like. I don't even know. What's the word? Uh. Lovecraftian horror. She's gonna write. What if Sensei wants to be in the show? I don't know if Kuro Sensei realizes what's gonna be. Day the festival already? You motherfuckers. You showed up and ate at our acorn noodle place. These motherfuckers are still hate. Kuro Sensei. Hey. A peach. Uh, uh, no, that's not Nagisa. What the hell? This is kind of scary. Divorce papers okay. Plot twist. Momo Taro. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be referenced off of something. <laughs> what is she doing here? She's helping with the prop effects right now. Yeah, I think she's just holding on that thing. Yo, stage effects! The acting's going crazy. <laughs> okay. This place is just... all over the place. Acting is on point. This is better than Oshinoko. This is actually better than Oshinoko. That's crazy to say, but like the acting is on point. <gasps> Pictures. That's Bit Sensei. That's Bit Sensei over there, and one of the students, the ponytail girl that loves Bit Sensei, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, remember, it, it's illegal drugs, guys. Not legal drugs, right? That's how bad they are. They're looking like the high schoolers. Remember the high school delinquents that showed up? That's the exact faces that they're making right now. This is some crazy shit. Terasaku's face is crazy too, but like, the ability to have your eyes literally just go to the top left and right corners, Brad. <laughs> illegal drugs, by the way. Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura in a police outfit. Okay. Yay! You got a peach. The end. What the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. The direction of this, I like it. Hazama has a very unique way of just like you know providing the direction of this shit. But Okajima is the monkey here. Itonai is also down there too. <laughs> Yo, look at that facial expression. So scary and spooky. <laughs> the state secret. He did a line. He did his noodle poo poo laugh. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Dramatic evil laugh to end oh. the play. That was heavy. <laughs> like, like that felt like way too deep for me. But I could tell like the dark themes at play truly exactly what I've imagined from, you know, self-proclaimed witch. <laughs> Nagasa, no cosplay though. <laughs> what? Why are you so mad? It was that good? <laughs> he probably watched that shit all. How was it? <laughs> 
What are you gonna do? The Ministry of Defense about to pull up. Can you predict it for us then? I don't know. I feel like this is not Principal Asano getting in our way and like, you know, they won't have a happy end. I think now the main antagonist is, you know, the leaders behind the Ministry of Defense and what they're fucking pulling. Remember, the whole unified like assassination project isn't even happening just yet. After the Reaper was defeated, no more solo contractors, right? Something crazy is gonna happen. Also, Koro Sensei just fucking walked out here. Bro, hello? <laughs> We'll see. They're really hyping up the next arc. And that is today's episode of us. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Kunudon. Kunudon. <laughs> Remember, if you didn't watch the last post credit scene, Kunudon got fired, okay? Kunudon got fired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's up to the E class. <laughs> Kunudon got washed up so hard. He became an alcoholic just watching TV sitcoms at home. Look at that fucking, like, uh, what's this called? 5 p.m. after shadow or some shit? I forget the exact number, but it's supposed to be like, you know, you haven't shaved in a while because you don't have to look presentable anymore. Banzai! 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 These Kunudon post credit scenes are actually funny to me but that is today's episode of assassination classroom and i am quite surprised that they wrapped up the principal's whole character arc with this episode i thought this was gonna go to the end game as we kind of talk about the mysteries of who that mystery woman that's you know reaching out to koro sensei could be but nah man and now what do we learn asano principal was just like koro sensei back then he's perfect and he always wanted to see the good in people but that led to an unfortunate situation happening. And I don't think that this is because, you know, of lack of like his teachings to make kids strong, right? I talked about the whole psychology of if you truly care about saving lives, then you wouldn't approach this method of survival of the fittest, but rather you probably feel guilty that, you know, someone died because of your lack of making them strong. So instead, let's just make everyone strong and the weak can die off. It's not my problem. Maybe there's something, you know, overlapping there with what's actually going on. But Asano Principal's good. Father and son, they're still kind of beefing, but it's better than ever. And everything is looking good. Now, what was my theories before? The theories had to do with, um, you know, who this wife could be. Because we still don't even know who the mom is. Where is Mama Asano? Why are they keeping her hidden? I still feel like it makes sense for her to be, you know, like, the researcher. Because she knew about the end class. And at some point, I guess, due to his change in mindsets and everything about the, you know, his philosophy of teaching, she got worried and then asked Koro-sensei to help? Why? Because Koro-sensei was supposed to be a hero. He was a human before that went through this experimentation and she was part of the plan. But she died at the end. Why? The experiment went wrong and something blew up? There's still too many missing links to kind of like piece the puzzles together, but it's getting clearer and clearer as we keep watching. Next episode is supposed to be crazy. I hear like the episode of season two is gonna be 14, so look out for that and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.